everyone today we are going to be fixing memory leaks on windows so basically what it does is it slows down your system it slows down your application response and how it does it is first of all what it does is when you start an application it requires some sort of memory right and resources so when you close the application it is supposed to free this memory and it does not so that's what memory leak is all about uh, whenever you close an application the memory has to be freed and whenever you open another application that memory has to be allocated to the new one so to fix that what we need to do is first uh, there are some basic steps firstly you need to go to the search bar uh, in windows 10 you'll find it here in windows 8 you'll find it over here uh, you need to go to search bar and type performance in that you'll find this option called adjust the appearance and performance of windows inside that visual effects you'll find these four options in which one of the options is adjust for best performance your system might have this one ticked let windows choose but what you need to select is adjust for the best performance what it does is it ex uh, unchecks this all these check boxes and make sure your windows uh, system is not using more resources than it is supposed to like for this all this ex extra stuff such as shadows and everything you probably don't need that so just click on adjust for the best performance click on apply and then click ok that was our step one next you need to do is is monitor your resource so how you do this is right click on your taskbar and click on task manager the task manager will open up and you'll find all these processes each one of them is using a percentage of your CPU and memory right now my recorder is using the most of it I'm not so worried about it because as soon as I close the recorder it will free the memory so in case it doesn't what I need to do is after I close the recorder I'll search for the recorder over here in the background process if it is still running I'll just right click it and end the task so I don't want my recorder to run in the background I just want it to run when I'm recording so that is what I'm going to do so what just make sure uh, in this windows process you don't tamper with any of these process just look you look for your process in this section the above one in the apps and background process do not touch the process in the windows process section all right so that was our step two it was quite easy step three is simple as well just go to the same app in the startup menu you'll find the bunch of applications in which you will have to do is uh, what this does is basically when your system starts it automatically starts these applications all right so here it will be enabled 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 and the startup impact you'll need to search for the startup impact that has high on it all right so it has enabled on it so what i'm going to do is i'll right click it and click on disable so next time when my system starts up it does not automatically start this application I do not need it to start it automatically some of them are important to start so just make sure you select properly so I don't want steam to start up automatically when I start the system I'll just disable it same way you can disable the highest impact ones and which are not important to you uh, the next step is to search for windows updates so windows uh, periodically checks for these bugs memory, le memory leaks so you need to search for the windows updates and make sure your system is properly updated so that in case windows came up with an update to fix that bug it will be automatically fixed in the update so that's what you're going to do you will check for updates so it is going to check for it automatically and then update my system next for the final step what you need to do is you need to go to your pc you need to go to your hard drive you're going to right click it click on properties in properties section you see a s option called tools in the tools you will see a button called optimize just click on the optimize and you'll see another window open up in just a second here it is so what you need to do is click on your hard drive and then click on optimize so it will optimize your system and defragmentize your hard drive uh, it is a really simple process it might take really long to complete just make sure you have time to start it and complete it so these were the four basic steps that you need to do to fix memory leaks uh, windows will constantly come up with updates that will have help you fix these bugs so keep your system updated so check your system for virus and malware and keep monitoring your process on the windows task manager in the performance sections so in the process sections i'm sorry so that was all there is and uh, thanks for watching if this helped uh, don't forget to subscribe thank you goodbye